morning, everyone. Welcome to Ubisoft News Plays. We have a very special stream for you today. As you can see, we're playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla. My name is Yusuf McGee. That's Chris Waters. Chris, I'm so happy. I'm Dude. so excited. No, oh, I'm so stoked. We've been waiting for this day for a long time. Uh, Valhalla comes out on Tuesday, but we got some early access to stream it today. Yes. And uh, we're going to be streaming it right from the beginning. Just want to give you folks a little breakdown of what's going to happen during the stream before we kick it off in earnest. And also give you a chance to appreciate how sick this logo is. I just love the way Assassin's Creed like puts their like puts different spins on the logo that match the uh, the setting that they're in, so you can easily see uh, those axes. Uh, folks, we're streaming on YouTube and on Twitch. If you join us at Twitch.tv/Ubisoft, you can join us in the chat. Uh, but yeah, Yusuf, what's up, man? What are we doing? So, Chris, we're starting here because I want to give folks a warning. We're gonna start the game from the very beginning. We want to show you uh, how the game kicks off. So this is your spoiler warning. If you want to go completely radio silent uh, on the game before it's out on November 10th, then this is your, your chance to do so. Uh, we will be showing the beginning of the game. We'll, we'll then be jumping ahead to a, a bit of a later save, and we'll be trying to mostly avoid uh, any super heavy story, story spoilers from then on. But we do want to show you the beginning of the game. Uh, some people are saying my audio is too low. Sorry about that. Let me turn myself up. Turn them up. Okay. That also, should be, that should be better. Oh, it sounded a little better. Yeah. Yeah. How am I sounding, Yusuf? Folks, is this a little loud or are we feeling good about where we're at? We want to get it dialed in for y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just super stoked. Now All it's right. too loud. Chris is too loud or I'm too loud? I, I'm a little loud. I tend to be a little loud. That's kind of my vibe over here. All right. And All especially right. when we're getting to stream a new game for the first time time uh we did do a valhalla stream earlier but that was from a pre-recorded gameplay session this one's coming at you live we are playing on the xbox series x oh yeah you that's another very exciting thing that we, we get to show this off on a brand new console comes out the same day as assassin's creed valhalla november 10th next tuesday all right so we're gonna kick off here with a new game show you all the the, the beginning and then we will jump ahead to a later save so if you, again, if you want to avoid spoilers, this is your time to look away. <laughs> we'll see you later. Uh, but if you're hanging out here, let's do it. All right, oh, so exploration difficulty. Are you just going to breeze through these? Because this, yeah. All right, going, going straight. We're just going to go all default for now. But I like, I like this. You there's, can, yeah, there's a ahead. stealth difficulty and there's a combat difficulty. Uh, I'm and going all default. exploration difficulty. Different ways to customize it. Uh, we'll be talking a lot more during the stream, folks, but we want to let this breathe, too. So if you don't hear from us, just drink it in. We're here. You're here. Let's go. Silence, you children of gods, and heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand, there was no sea, no earth, nor sky, no grass, nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green, Came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. Who was this little chap? Oh, little young little... Avor. Just found a little uh, little bobble here and is heading out. Sounds like there's a party going on. Ooh. No one parties like Vikings. Chris. <laughs> oh, what's up, Skull? You gonna play me a little tune, my man? People are digging it. What do we got going on here? Lit by candlelight and a big fire in the center. Oh. 
go. So, you see our game? Yes, good. Come, Eva. Did you find the, the ring? Yes. Now, now for our little plan. You see us talking. Be quiet as a little mouse. And surprise him with our gift. You hold it out. Him in the eyes, and you say, Steer Bjorn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. You think you can do that for me? Good. Mm -hmm. Tonight, you. I already forgot the words, Chris. I'm anxious. Look at this dad, love. I love this dad. Also, I love that he's just so huge. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is broken. Oh, we're Free. dancing, Chris. Yeah, I'm ready to fight. It's so nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Let's go, chat. Hey. We got the hearty folks in their homes. Dark Hatchet, we are going to be answering questions. Yes, we can answer questions to a certain degree. Chris, I know uh, you... I mean, if... if our watchdog streams or anything go off and you love <laughs> some good dancing. I do. I love it. I love it. Look right, at this kid dancing. getting into it. I shoot the hill dog. Yeah, we're gonna turn the volume up a little bit, folks. Oh, no drink in your fist? Stop singing. Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have accepted you for your father. Uh, oh, what a piece. Mm. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. No way, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. If you didn't have a job to do, Yusuf, you'd be throwing the mead back. Sigurd is such like an older brother. Like, that's such like a... Oh, let me do it. Yeah. But he didn't push it. He's like, all right. Suit yourself. Playing some catch. Definitely young Eivor. Taking some time to play around a little bit. It's not like he has to go talk to a king or anything. It's not like he's got a ton to do, or like, you know, uniting the clans to work on here. <laughs> Big Dad. So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones he stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. That's in the morning. First light. Oh, <laughs> oh damn! Imagine breaking your ankle because you were up in the rafters, just I know, right? out your mind. <laughs> I have a gift to deliver. Hey, thanks, Tucker. Abel, wait. Skull! To Sturbjorn! It's Sturbjorn. Riga Falga, Chris. Remember that name. Forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Nailed it. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in the Hall of Kings. Ah. The singing. Can see yes. Oh. Words gain wings. Love a good Viking song. Oh, then Smeed our fourth will bring. The noble deeds that gonna sing. That cheese looks good. The brave men slain, Valkyria waves. Rewards for strain to Valhalla takes. 
Soldier, so they know how to party. <laughs> for those who fight, for those who fight, ready yourself, men. Go. Uh, some people seem to have interrupted the party. Not just yet. Oh, Avor's not invited though. Not just yet. So this is the part where we just like hang out in the hall, let the battle go. We're not gonna like go out there or anything. No, right? that'd be so no. be so dangerous. It'd be so irresponsible for a young child such as Avor to go outside. Nothing is true. Uh, but oh, hey, look, there's a door. The branches of Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil, Yusuf. That ring any bells, Assassin's Stand? Echoes of the Creed. Ooh, mama, let's go! Ooh. In the face! Yikes. Terrifying moment. This is a terrifying moment yes. for you. <laughs> right. Go. Right from the beginning, right. this is the start. Thank if you, you don't want spoilers, we'll see you next week. Now it's my turn to offer you to slay you. Accept your fate, die a coward here before your people, and I will spare the rest. Fight, my love! Do not listen! If I give my life, will you spare my clan? You have my word. No. No, Baron. No, Aaron. Pick up your axe! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, man. It's all bad. No. The whole Chris, I don't know if you if you if you caught that. Pick up your axe. That a a up your axe. Oh my goodness, is that a heart-rending cry? Because Chris, I don't know if you know, a Viking can't go to Valhalla unless they die with a weapon in their hand. Bad scene. Oh god! Atreyu, no! What's it called when a bad time gets worse? Uh, real bad time. Real bad time. Sorry. Dude. Young Havor, R.I.P. Or... What the hell is that? I'm seeing... I'll tell you got a nickname like Wolf Kiss, Chris. ...in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. 
I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's Animus a third option, out. too. glitching out. That's right, El Toro Guaco. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. So here's another choice you get to make. You can play as female Eivor, you can play as male Eivor, or you could let the Animus choose, and it'll choose to be female or male depending on the strength of the memory stream. And you can also change that at any time during the game. So Yusuf, yep. what's yeah. your choice? You could hop in, yeah, like uh, in the inventory menu and change whenever. Let's go, let's start female Eivor. We can switch right, manually ourselves in a little bit. So yeah, we'll we'll switch it up a little later, rest. show you folks some both. But oh man, uh, so we're jumping ahead now, but dude, he's got mauled by a wolf so badly. Oh yeah, that's how you get the name Wolfkiss, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's right. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkissed? There's the nickname right there. Winters. But we found the guy. 18. Good guy. Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> Gross. Gross, Kyotve. <laughs> You remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Dang, the dude's got the insults. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Chris, I'm getting Kill that axe. The rest back. Of our crew. Make oh, you're seeing that axe. You know where that axe is going. Oh, yeah. That hey, guy. The wolf kiss is no that more. Guy. That name is dead to this world. Oh, this? You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship. Uh. Well, it's gonna go well for this guy. You can, you can just tell. Is Kyotve the cruel, cruel person? SRJ. I'm gonna you go move. with. And I take your eyes. You hear me? Take your eyes. What a threat. Winds blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Oh, now, I don't think you'll need to I worry you? about your sailing directions. Get him! Let's go! Oh, straight to the knee! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, pinned by the boat? Shut I will skin you alive! Never, in your chest. Never leave this. Ah. <laughs> oh, crunch him. No face for you, Simon. <laughs> my crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. PTR saying, I used to be a sailor like you until I took an axe to the knee. <laughs> yeah, but you my see how that guy died? Eivor kicked him that. into a cage that shut and he fell in the water. That is so gnarly. <laughs> That is, that is. That is. I mean, getting die. crushed by a boat, also pretty gnarly. Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're both really gnarly. Oh, they're so gnarly. We gotta loot, we gotta loot. All right, we need some help. Man, you could've just opened that door. <laughs> That's how Eivor opens doors. With an axe! So yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you don't regen health like you did in basically every other Assassin's Creed game. You have to pick it up by eating things like raspberries, cloudberries, mushrooms you find out in the wild, and then uh, you can store them up as well in rations. Yeah, so you saw the health bar at the bottom left. You'll see the, the wheel filling. That's the ration wheel. Once you have your health maxed and pick up more health items, you'll be able to create a ration. You'll see that just turns into a number one with a heart, and you can upgrade your uh, ration total. It's one of the things you can pay to upgrade um, with resources that you find in-game to get more rations. Uh, for those, those folks curious about the resolution here, we are playing on Xbox Series X today. Uh, we are streaming it in 1080p because 
that is best for the stream quality and best for you folks. Uh, it can play it at 4K and 60 FPS. If you want a little, and that's gonna, that's the same for PlayStation 5 as well. If you're curious about some of the information about next gen consoles and Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as well as some other Ubisoft games, I'm putting a link in the Twitch chat that has all the info you need. And a nice tip here from Bones and Wolves. Twitch automatically sets your stream to 480p if you click the cog and have the option of 1080p, 60 FPS. It looks good. So go ahead and check those Twitch settings if you're not seeing... Uh, uh, you can set it to that source quality and you'll be able to get a better look at what we're working with here. As someone, Chris, who played a lot of Assassin's Creed on consoles, that 60 mm -hmm. FPS is just buttery smooth. Oh, it's so good. All right, our first sync point. Always my favorite ones. Love it. Breathe it in. And the singing, oh, too. Where that Oathbreaker is holding my crew. So this is one of the new things in the game too, is that like you don't have normal objective markers on your map that you, like, you're used to of like, oh, I know what this thing is. You just have what you see there on the bottom right, wealth, mysteries, and artifacts. And they're just represented by different colored dots. So gold for wealth, blue for mysteries, and then white for art artifacts. Um, mm -hmm. And you have no idea what they're gonna be until you run up there and you go find them, which I really like it. I think it really encourages explore exploration. Oh, you just, you just hooked yourself off that cliff. It did hook myself off the cliff. <laughs> managed to oh, okay managed to survive that one uh folks we got a question from don't eat my salami can we turn off the climb indication there are a ton of different things in the hud that you can change and customize and i'm going to paste the link in chat uh for link about the accessibility settings yeah you're only uh, seeing you a lot of these prompts here. too just because this is very early on in the game um, and so it's, it's sort of serving as a tutorial. One thing that I think is, well, I mean, uh, veteran Assassin's Creed fans will notice too, is that Eivor did not do a leap of faith off that uh, viewpoint. She yeah, a bunch kinda, of people saying that in the chat. Yeah, she just kind of jumped. Uh, Eivor, at this point, very much not an assassin, not affiliated with the assassins, uh, and so, doesn't know how to do a leap of faith. That's a, that's a little tease for something you'll come up across. Doesn't know how to do a leap of faith. Yet. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right. So, Yusuf, you're on your way. I'm okay. gonna smash the lines for the rest of your crew. You're smashing these boxes? These boxes may have killed my father. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so here we have Kyotve talking to Riki Wolf, one of his lieutenants, saying, "Prepare, uh, Varen's child. That's you. Yes, for the slave slavery. And uh, yeah, that's not cool. Like, I mean, that's just straight up not cool. So you know, that's just that's the way it is. Do some quick bow work there. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nicely done. Nicely done." And again, yeah, Eivor, not an assassin, no hidden blade yet, so there's no assassinating enemies at this point. No assassinating them, but you can definitely kill them, for sure. Clash of iron. There's a fight going on. Nearby. Oh, there's a fight? You want to get in there? Oh, no, it's, it's over. I think Dag's belt oh. is handled. <laughs> okay, now it's really over. Okay, that's it's very over. You live. I do. Dag. Slipped up, away dag? in the sword clash. And what of you? Kjotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. Mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed mm -hmm. east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. Grasp. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. <laughs> I can I mean... storm the beach then, slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far <laughs> more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. 
This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. All right, we got our shield now too, Chris. Hey, you got a shield, you got an axe, what more does the Viking need? Maybe some sleeves? You're making me chilly out here, I don't know. I, I mean, Eivor is, is used to this, you know? That's true. Right. Uh, I see some folks asking about uh, PC settings in the Twitch chat. I put a link in the Twitch chat there for the PC specs. You can go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, if you're not in the Twitch chat, you don't see that link, just go to news.ubisoft.com. You'll find our Assassin's Creed news hub there. You get information on next-gen stuff, PC spec stuff, post-launch stuff, accessibility stuff, all that. That's the place you want to go. Uh, Omegatron, can you get hurt from being underdressed in cold weather? Uh, no, not to my knowledge. Uh, but you can get hurt. Like, when Yusuf was just briefly in the water earlier, uh, you heard, may have heard Eivor sure, say something like, it's friggin' cold as heck, or whatever, you know. An authentic Viking would say, game. definitely not what I just said. <laughs> so that, the cold of the water can kill you. Yes. Uh, but I don't think, but yeah, okay. So we're sneaking into Olivus Ness here. Gotta get the crew back. And uh, Yusuf, can we meet, can we meet our little avian Soonin, friend? Guide me. Okay, so he, here's Sunan. Sunan. The, uh, yes. your raven companion. And uh, you'll notice too, as unlike Origins and Odyssey, is that Sunan doesn't tag enemies. Uh, like like Icarus and Senu did, your Odin sight does. So by scanning them, pushing down on the right stick, um, you, you'll scan enemies, they'll start glowing red like that, and that's how you, you kind of tag them, you know where they are. What Sinan will do is sort of reveal these objective locations to you, this objective zone, and that now we know that uh, our crew is likely in this long uh, longhouse here. Should, be inside. should I just sneak in, Chris? Go stealthy? You know, Yusuf, you are a pretty stealthy guy. That's what they say about me. They, they call him the, the stealthy one. Just gonna leave this guard napping? Oh, they're waking up. It's okay. They're crawling through the, the snowy wheat. Just gonna go to the front door? You think you're just gonna be able to walk up in here? Chris, it's, it's, it's the thing they expect least. <laughs> Alright, I think we actually gotta climb up to the top. I love this roof, though. Like, uh, the tiles, like, the the greenery growing on top of it, the snow across it. It's just, like, such a great hall vibe. Love it. Squirm like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. Time to die. I want to make a mess of it, Bachraut. Oh, the subtitles are nice. I didn't know what a Bachraut was. Uh, <laughs> but you kind of get the gist, even if you don't know. <laughs> Straighten the grill. You coward! See, and we're sneaky. Me and stick an axe in my hand. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. owe you mm -hmm. nothing, Raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. There's that axe, Chris. You I want that axe. Lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. Yes, who's not but on a slave ship to, to Ireland? My first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I will send you All to right. hell so this is Ricky Wolf. This was the lieutenant we saw Kyoto wrote a note towards, uh, and so now Yusuf's using the little lock on, using those light attacks and heavy attacks, uh, and trying not to end up on the business end of Ricky Wolf's axe. Yusuf, did you just get did you just get a little chop there? Uh, yeah, I'm having my display. I think actually, uh, is. Are you oh. having a little trouble here, buddy? Do you yeah, need my to, mod, do you let pause me... and regroup. Yeah, <laughs> let me. You're getting try and pause. Press paused. Okay, this is paused. We're gonna look at the map here while Yusuf uh deals with a little tech issue that's popped up on his side. Uh, so this is the map of Rigifoka. I think it's kind of what I pronounce it. I don't know. We heard him say it earlier. Uh, and this is the sort of starting island you're on. For those of you I, in the chat, I was seeing um, there was some uh, talk about, like, where are we in the story? Well, we saw the intro with young Eivor uh, and uh, his family's clan getting wiped out by Kyotve the Cruel. Fast forward a bunch of years, and now Eivor is on the tail of Kyotve. Uh, Kyotve actually had the upper hand earlier on, but now we're rest he fled. 
we escaped from bondage. He rescued, uh, we're rescuing our crew now, taking down one of Kyotve's lieutenants. You'll notice this is a small island right where we're at. That's the blue arrow. And then uh, you can see the rest of this fjord here where it says Riga Falke. You'll be able to sail all up in there. That's where you'll find uh, Fornberg, which is your home. That's where you'll find uh, some other locations to explore. You can already see there's another synchronization point. Um, and so now we're back in battle. You said you feeling good here, buddy? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. Okay. It's a bit of a monitor issue. Okay. Well, the you persevere. Go. You persevere. You can oh, do it. Give me strength. Get him. Get him. Oh, that was close. You almost uh, caught that one to the ground. Oh, oh, okay. So now you got a little introduction to your stamina bar. While Yusuf is fighting, you'll see that's in the bottom left. Uh, you know, dodging, heavy attacks, that's going to drain your stamina bar. Uh, but light attacks, which Yusuf is using, using a bunch here, are going to replenish it. So that's why it's not going down. He's just hitting him with little quick hits. Uh, oh, it took one right there. He's going to consume a health ration. Get him with a little parry. Oh, Ricky Wolf is on the ropes now, folks. Yusuf, you're almost oh. dead. You are almost dead, buddy. Can you do it? Oh. Oh! 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 oh. Get him with the claps! Hammer claps. Ouch! Hammer claps. <laughs> Brutal. Mm. Crunchy, says Kodath. Father. Oof. We should have held on to this until the bitter end. Hmm. Yeah, it's If I bad. give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it know! Pick up your axe! Every time. It's just heartrending. Oh, just some old guy and his wolf, right? Who's the old guy? <laughs> If y'all know the name of a big ass tree that people in Norway, in Iceland, or Scandinavian Neighbor, mythology are real down with, Norse mythology. Find us. What? Yggdrasil, Grandfather Hermit, you know what's up? Ooh, got the spelling right too. Ooh, okay. We gotta close. All right, you know, I like your priorities here, you said. Let the men out of the cages, unbind them before you change clothes. That's very, uh, it's a good leader. <laughs> so here we're equipping our first uh, sort of armor stuff here. You can see each armor piece has a few stats. Um, oh, you're going to switch from the Raider Axe to Varen's Axe. Uh, and get oh, the shield axes, in the office. Chris. Double axes. Uh, as he changes to the boots, you'll see here, uh, linger on the gauntlets real quick here, Yusuf. Mm -hmm. You'll just see that as he's got the Raven Clan set, uh, he's going to get a set bonus once he gets the fifth piece in there that will unlock it there. Just a way of like showing you, you know, how those, how this armor stuff can, uh, can improve when you, when you coordinate the sets. Exactly. So we actually don't have the fifth piece yet. You have to, you have to do something else to get the fifth piece to okay. uh, get okay. that armor bonus. And uh, I think we, we can show that probably. We'll have time. Well, you're looking much more dressed for the cold breathe, and battle now. Fight. Oh, yes. Now come. All right. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. All right, we got our crew. Oh, we got some people to fight. Oh, it's brawling time, baby. I love the light. That's finishing with a light attack is that kind of like final strike, and then you just like toss them behind you, like, we're done now. All right, so you're using both axes here. Yes, so uh, your normal like light and heavy will like give you, they're primarily using the, the main swing there. Oops. Uh, they're primarily using the, the main weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, but then if you push the left bumper. Uh, oh yeah, the stun attack. 
Well, so so left bumper in that case is a, is immediately a parry. Like if you time it right, it'll do a parry like that. But then yep. if you hold it, it'll do an attack where you're using both axes like that. Ooh, the furry! Oh, you took that one to the oh, Get up. Oh, we gotta reach our long. We don't need to necessarily fight these boots. Are you just gonna leave them? Just gonna let those boys I, take care Chris, of Chris, this is why you have a crew. All right. They gotta, they gotta pick, pick you up. What are you gonna do about these archers, though? I'm gonna arch them back. All right, so this is one thing I'll oh, get arch. straight to the grill. So you notice that uh, that archer's arm was glowing yellow. Uh, Yusuf, see if you can do it in combat up here. Oh, yeah. When you, you pull out your bow and aim, you'll see a yellow weak spot where, like, boom, that, like, took out half their health and immediately drained their whole stun bar, their whole stamina bar, opening them up for that stun attack, that finisher. Uh, so definitely, like, Chris, aiming for that part of the body. <laughs> I just punched his head off. <laughs> I punched his head off. Clean off. Kenji Taka says brutal. Uh, yes. <laughs> so brutal. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, you talked about the stamina bar earlier too, Chris. If you can see here, dodging uses up your stamina. 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 Uh, that's good. Uh, so you can't you can't just dodge infinitely anymore. So you actually do have to be cautious of your positioning. You have to use your parries a lot more than you, you may have had to in previous Assassin's Creed games. Mm -hmm. Getting on this long ship. The Viking Fortress says get a shield. We actually have a shield. Yusuf has gone for the dual axes. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. Odin helped with that punch, says Sturman. <laughs> All right, you're peacing out, man. See you later. Oh, yeah. Thornburg, so Chris. You've rescued your crew, taken to the sea, and this is our first glimpse at sailing in your uh, dragon ship here, your longboat. Exactly. Uh, and just taking a look at that beautiful water here. We're playing on Xbox Series X, folks. While the console can do 4K 60 FPS, we're just streaming at 1080p 60 FPS. If you're watching on Twitch, I'll give you a tip in a second. I like this line. <laughs> yes, I definitely like, I like it. Uh, if you want to take a look at uh, the best we're offering in terms of stream quality here, go ahead on Twitch and mouse over the window, click on the little gear, and then you can select source 1080p, uh, 60 FPS. Hey, look, look. That'll give you a good look at what Someone we're working with here. On that island. Cut this man. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying like a dogs bone. Like dogs worrying Even a bone. He's rolling up. Well, I mean, this is a, uh, this settlement here is friendly to us. Okay, so they were talking about an island where Kyoto's men are setting up. That's a little bit out into the water, but Yusuf is take, taking to the shore here in Stavanger to, uh, well, what are you up to, my man? Well, Chris, you this on, is... You on the hunt for that wealth? I'm on the hunt for the wealth. Uh, there's a few mysteries here, too. I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of everything here, to be honest. Uh, of course, a viewpoint as well, which are also acts as, as fast travel points, so you'll want to be sure to check those out. But I wanted to show this but these relics mystery last in particular. Forever. Welcome, this warrior. Sulke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects, priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. Mm -hmm. I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look Chris, very impressive. what's in your death pit? Like this old shoe. <laughs> My death that pit? belonged to the yes. first Christian Pope. Uh, or like maybe stuff that I want to be buried with? It brings the blessing of your God. <laughs> Is that what you're talking they about? I think it's, like a, it's a pit that you put to, you know, to kill. Is it a place a where I put people that I want to die? To I believe so. Oh, definitely some spikes. The great beast. Definitely yeah. some, like, gnarly spikes. But that, like, like break that. off a little bit. And what about that helmet? That Ooh. was the helmet Halfden the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is mm -hmm. a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Oh, a damn. Mm -hmm. Eivor? Mm -hmm. I know you now, Sulke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How oh, much silver did Chadva pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kyotva. I ran. He's begging for his life. Coward. He knows. He knows. He's like this close. This close. Oh, 
He got caught. I do not want to die. Not your choice. Not your choice. Use it. Get him. I'm gonna chase merchant outrun you. I got I got a little I got a little over anxious there. That's okay. Mark. Oh, he's got bodyguards. See him later. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Get him. Is that him? Get back here. Over the fence? This guy's slippery. Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. On my life! I was frightened and I fled. And when I returned, everyone was gone Fleeing or dead. Is betraying and yet Farron, isn't it? Come on. Dead, battered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time, but the weight grew too heavy Did and you? I needed to eat. Uh, we to believe survive. in it? We believe in this guy? This is not living. Without honor, we're worse than beasts and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. Mm. This world is makes all a point. I know, and this life, all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. All right. What you gonna do? That's a fair trade. You're gonna take everything from him? Yeah. Now, presumably, you could also chop that dude up, right? I mean, not chop him up. That sounds a little more, <laughs> more like a little than literally ending his life. But hey, you're about to get some, get some of your stuff back. Well, I, get some me precious memories. Exactly, Chris. Exactly. All right. Where's it at? Where's the loot? Okay. What are we seeing? Silver, we ball, got ball of yarn. Ah, uh, yes, my mother's cherished yarn. <laughs> Let him live, but take his shop, Master Lee. Yeah, I think that's the move. Burn down his store, it's Alyssa. Ooh. I mean, I'm not mad at the idea. I'm not mad. Oh, look who's back. Look who's that, back. Uh, did I get... I'm just gonna harass this guy? Double check. The helmet <laughs> is nearby. I know that. Can you do the, like, uh, Animus Pulse thing? That'll allow you to spot certain treasures that are nearby um, when you do that kind of Animus thing. Hmm. Trying to smash the place up. Get him! <laughs> I guess you decided I mean, to do something could. different, huh? <laughs> oh, there it goes. Uh, it might be one of these treasures. This is how you get the helmet, though. Uh, to complete the Raven Clan set. Uh, I believe. I just can't remember how I did it. Uh, yeah, so that ability, uh, I called it the wrong thing earlier. It's called Odin's Sight. Uh, yes. So it gives you a little bit of a look at where nearby treasures are. If you're trying to hone in on something, you can find it. Uh, Yusuf here is looking for the helm of his father that a merchant was selling. And, uh, yeah, because, you know, it's, it's, it's his family. That's Eivor's family heirloom. This is the, like, the first region, though, if we, if you take a look here at the map, like, uh, Rikjafalka, I think that's how it's pronounced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is, like, the, the Norway part of the map. Um, we don't want to show you all everything here because there's some good, uh, juicy, wonderful story details here that you can discover for yourself. There's also quite a bit of exploration you can do if you just take a look at the map, and there's quite a bit we haven't even unfogged yet. Uh, but we want you all to get to discover that yourselves. What we're going to do now is jump ahead a little bit to a later save when Eivor and the rest of the Raven Clan have made it to England. All right, yeah, so if you know anything about Valhalla, you know it's not just all about kicking it in Norway. It's also about getting to England, setting up your settlement, uh, building alliances with local folks, or just taking them over, really trying to establish that foothold in England uh, and be a part of the big sort of changes in migration and, uh, and uh, conflicts of that era. So Yusuf has played a bunch of this game. We're jumping forward to another save here. And, uh, yeah, if you folks have questions, we're trying to answer them in the Twitch chat. If you're watching on YouTube, we're glad to have you there, too. Uh, Got you said those fast load are... times. Ooh, that was speedy. Xbox Series that was X speedy. load times. Again, so, yeah. we're playing on Xbox Series X. You have set the stage for where we are now, Ravensthorpe. What's so, his joint? Ravensthorpe is your settlement. Um, you and your, your brother Sigurd um, travel to England, and you establish a settlement here in which you can build uh, various buildings if you just, like, look around. Again, this is still... A early-ish save. Uh, it's about five hours in. 
Can we get but, like a slow raven flight just a little bit? Just yeah. like, just give it a little glimpse. It's nighttime, it's raining, so you can't really see it in all its uh, beautiful sunlit glory here. Uh, but yeah, this is this is your settlement spot. But yeah, I mean, like you have a tattoo shop you, you, you can build, you have your stables, an aviary, you have uh, houses for, for different people, a museum. A museum? Oh yeah. Foul farm. Does that mean when you pick up artifacts, you, you say that belongs in a museum? That's exactly what happens. Exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can see here we've got our hidden blade now, or our not so hidden blade, I should say. We got some uh, new tattoos. We've, uh, we've changed. We got a, we got this big old axe. And uh, Yusuf. now we have to go speak, Chris, to a uh, woman named Randy. She is Sigurd's wife, and she is kind of like our uh, running running our Viking clan operations. Before you get there, pause. Okay. okay. Can we switch to male Eivor? Oh, good call. Good call. Yeah, so super easy. You just go into your inventory screen. You push up on the D-pad there where it says Animus. And then change Eivor's appearance. So again, folks, we were able to make this choice at the end of the little uh, young Eivor prologue to let the Animus choose. So we'll alternate depending on the strength of the signal. Uh, exactly. and Or you can also choose female, choose male, or alternate whenever you want, as you can see. So we just loaded it in. It, male Eivor has all the gear already equipped uh, that we had equipped. Actually, well, that Yusuf had equipped. And we, what are you wearing now? Because this is a so, later save. What do you got? What are you repping here? So here I got, I, I have the Raven Clan outfit. You can see here I have the Raven Clan helmet, which uh, mm -hmm. I, I, I did find. I think I actually, I, I was wrong. I think I put it in a, or it's, it's in a different place than I was trying to show you all there. That's my bad. But uh, you can toggle it what I really like. You can toggle it on and off. So you can show it if you want, you can hide it if you want, um, but not mm -hmm. just the helmet, you could do that with basically everything. Show off those tattoos if you want. You, you still have the gear <laughs> equipped. Yes, I like it. But yeah. Dang, those tattoos are very cool. Eivor looks too cold. Uh, but yeah, you also notice that this time around, the um, everything is, is red and they, they're, it's superior. That's because I've gone to the blacksmith and I've upgraded them. So if you, when you upgrade your outfits uh, or any of your gear, it, a number of things happen. They'll get extra rune slots that you can, so here you're seeing I have more stealth damage uh, in this rune slot. And you'll also be able to upgrade them further. So the upgrade bars are those little white bars that you're seeing. I have two out of four there, and those improve mm -hmm. their, their stats. But they also change their appearance, which I think is really cool. So you get to see as your as your gear gets better, um, it, it changes how it looks. There's a little more craftsmanship. He's also got some runes in there. Uh, okay, we got Can a few other it. weapons here. Well, this is this is, is Varen's axe, Chris. This is the our father's axe, and I've upgraded it, so it actually looks a little bit different now. It's got some filigree there on the back. The handle's got wrapped in leather now. Uh, I like so it. We're gonna go. I actually really like the war hammer. I'm gonna go hammer and Papa's axe. Hammer and axe. So you're big two the dual wielding weapons player. Oh, I like it. I do look. Uh, now again, folks, we're gonna go talk to Ranvi, who is uh, Sigurd's wife. Correct. There you are. She's here with you, and we're gonna make a little, uh, make a little so decision. Ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So... Where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the alliance map. I want map. to see the alliance map. Now, folks, if you watch any of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla preview coverage from about a month ago, or the stream that we did um, with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, um, you saw a good chunk of the Leicestershire uh, portion. So I want to go ahead and take us to Grantbridgeshire. So we are gonna pledge Tell ourselves me about there. 
A force Grandebridge of Danes, Shire. called the Summer Army by the Saxons, Summer is camped Army. north of Grandebridge, at mm -hmm. some ruins mm -hmm. across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Red Apple, Consider if his voice point. sounds familiar to you, uh, it may be because you watched uh, The Last Kingdom, and if you did, the male, uh, the voice, uh, the, the voice actor of male Eivor is the person who plays Canute in The Last Kingdom. Uh, his name escapes me off the top of my head. Ah, nice. Also, uh, Genevi in chat saying, freaking love the raining sound I'm hearing right now, or and I'm, am I daydreaming? No, you're not. That's the rain on the roof of the hall. It was raining when we rolled in here, so yeah, you're hearing that in the distance. Uh, that's very, that's very soothing. I like that. Thanks for pointing that out. Oh, yes. Uh, so we're Ooh, actually... We got a big tree there. I like that big tree. You, you, I'm sensing a fiend, Chris. You like big trees. I do. They're majestic and old as hell. <laughs> so, uh, Ranvi there suggested we talk to our friend, uh, Haytham, who is a member of the Hidden Ones. So we'll talk to him here. Haytham, Ranvi asked me to see you about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order. Magnus Bruin. Thank belong. you, Darkest Lord. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Mm -hmm. Not just mm -hmm. turmoil. Mm -hmm. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. Dang. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. All right, buddy. Yeah, we can, we can give, you, give you a place to set up. That outfit's looking pretty familiar, Chris. It looks a lot like uh, our old pal Altair. Uh, speaking of outfits, Yusuf, we got some folks curious if you can uh, put on your hood. Uh, oh, that's like the um, that's like the on the quick menu. So you just to do that, you just hold down on the D-pad. Boom, you put it up there, uh, and this is going to like lower your profile when you're walking around. Plus, it makes you look cool. Oh yes. Yeah, so if you pull up here, you can uh, meditate to pass time. You can uh, use the horn to call a raid. Uh, you can call your longship if you're by a river. Uh, you can pull out a torch. Or you can take on and off your cloak. And there are, there are other uh, items that quick wheel once you actually unlock the uh, a certain building here, which, uh, yeah, the fishing hut. Uh, once you unlock that, you'll be able to start fishing as well. Now, Yusuf, uh, can we go back to that quick wheel? Is, uh, is there an option to, like, meditate until daytime? Yeah. Let's have a little moment here. It's on the docks. That's where I do my best meditating. Listen, when the need strikes, <laughs> meditate till daytime. So here we go. We got our settlement in the daytime. We got a light and a nice little, like, low fog coming off the river. Also uh, customize your settlement, too, with some cosmetic statues. The Odin wood statue. Odin statue is never a bad idea. The big O, uh, you know, presumably loves the grave, craven, craven image of himself. <laughs> so you want to throw those up? Zerker sure. arsenal. Yes, please. Ooh. Yeah, weapon. Geo in Twitch chat saying you love the meditate sound. I do too. All right, Chris. So we are gonna go head off. Boat, 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 boat. boat. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got excited. Okay, so we're going to head off over here. Oops, no, we have that tracked already. Sailing, uh... Let's get out of here. We have to turn around. Sweet G saying, I got a feeling I'm going to ruin the boat when I play it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can totally crash the boat or not. I would certainly never do that. I'm an incredible pilot of vehicles, as you 
as you know. I love watch the, the stream when you're sailing. All right, let's listen to this. So right now here, Yusuf has just selected follow the river. Uh, so that allows him to not just like free circle the camera around without worry of crashing into the boat or into the docks, but also lets you activate this panoramic view mode, which just like gives you these gorgeous little views of you sailing your way down the waterways of England. Uh, you know, you can do that in Norway too, whenever you're in the boat, um, you can get that cinematic angle, which you could also so do it while you're riding your horse as well. And you choose to follow the road. Yusuf, what's this up here? Some, you get, you're attracting some attention. I am attracting some attention, but we're not going to worry about that. We're headed over here what? to our objective. To this castle? Are you going yes. to that castle? Go to the castle. Got to go to the castle. So again, here we go. now that we're like in the area, we know the objective is somewhere nearby, but we have to use uh, Sinin to uh, figure out precisely where. And Sinin. wouldn't you know it's right up here? There you go. But you can also get a look around. You see the little yellow dots for different uh, wealth locations. If you actually, use, if you hold down the left trigger, it'll allow you to focus. And uh, you'll see these uh, pop up. These are like, mostly I think they're like where uh, Sunan is detecting some animals or ore. So like yeah, leather or some of those resources you use to upgrade your gear. Uh, that can be a good way to spot those as well. Um, but yeah, can you actually just like, can we just like soar for a, for a few minutes? Oh, press uh, Y to hide that panel. Oh, you're right. And just like take in the scenery a little bit. And also like, I just, you know, ever since, uh, oh, what? <laughs> oh, did you not know about this, Chris? <laughs> what did you just do a barrel roll? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, this has been in the game since, uh, the game since Origins. I know. I forgot about it though. Uh, I was just saying like, I love to just like watch the, the little feathers, uh, on the bird ever since Origins, uh, with Senu. Oh, Nithal Dulak, you want to listen to the wind? All right, let's go. Oh, little photo mode, little little Sunin photo. Oh yeah, I love the eye, the glowing eye. Yes, there it is. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Boom, love it. Oh, too close. Oh, oh there's so much time in photo mode. Okay, you gotta find the peaceful <laughs> moments here, cause you know. It's a, that's like one of the things I really love about Assassin's Creed games is finding those peaceful place. moments where you can take but a little break no at your own pace. You can play at your own pace here, but then you can go, uh, you know, scramble up a point of interest. Or go say AC Valhalla ASMR. Yes, all about that. <laughs> Give me all that ACV ASMR. Darth Bandicoot, the Raven's name, I believe, is Sunin. Is that right? Yes, S-Y-N-I-N. Sunin. Nice little, oh, yeah, climbing. The climbing is so good. It's so fun to just be able to clamber all around. Oh yeah, and again, uh, with 160 that... FPS, Chris. It's buttery smooth. Up to the top. Makes a you know archery. we love our synchronization points, folks. Ubisoft News Plays will always deliver synchronization points to you. Every Wednesday and Friday we stream. Follow the channel to join us for more Assassin's Creed Valhalla streams in the coming weeks. Uh, this is not the end of the stream, I'm just saying. This is what we like to do here. Let's do it! Oh yeah. And uh, because, you know, we are still in early access, there's a bit of limit, limitations into what we can and can't show you right now. But uh, our, on Wednesday, November 11th, the game will be out. We'll be able to show you a little bit uh, of a playthrough further down the line. Show you some more uh, cool abilities, weapons, gear. All right. So again, Eivor, at this point, still doesn't know how to uh, do a leap of faith. So we're just gonna hook ourselves off here. It may not be quite as stylish, but it gets the jobs done. It does, I mean, it's all about getting from A to B. Atasha's noting this castle is the one designed by Boss Logic during the online stream. Uh, yeah, during the reveal what stream, Boss here? Logic created that piece of art. That, it totally does look like this castle. Eivor of the Raven Clan. Hmm. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskuna. 
the Saxons took it back. Saxons. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. Hmm. Sounds like an ambush. Rude dudes. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Al Yarsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. Mm. I can find mm -hmm. someone. Mm -hmm. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Deep in the Fenlands. All right, we gotta search for Soma here. Kyokichu saying, hmm, seems like he's not telling the whole story. Yusuf, what vibe did you get from that guy? Uh, there's certainly something afoot. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> flying all it. Is this where you parked your boat? Because that would be amazing. <laughs> it is not where I parked that boat. There is a little, uh, we take control of this. Oh, you wanna hang on the rowboat? Uh, Atasha's thanks. Glad you're enjoying the stream. We do stream to the Ubisoft channel twice a week. Uh, we we read the chat here on twitch.tv slash Ubisoft. And if you're watching on YouTube, we are also glad to have you there. Uh, oh, wow. You are just, like, taking off on this thing. Oh, yeah. We're booking it. Watch out for these birds, man. They better watch out for me. Oh, I definitely just would have clocked oh, that bird. Okay. So we need to use... Cast some, about okay. this lap, my friend. Okay. But hold on, man. Look, there's a boat right here. Can you just give us a little, like, Odin sight and see? Because, like, that to me says there might be something underwater, but I guess not. It's pretty shallow land. Zoom. <laughs> I am Frosted saying Yusuf has the rowing upgrade unlocked, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so there are some really cool upgrades that I highly recommend. If you go to a, your stable, either in your settlement or... Uh, in any big city, you can unlock the ability for mounts to swim. So that means Gosh, you can be yeah. riding what? on your horse, come across a river, and you don't need to get off the horse. The horse can just swim right on through. Fantastic. Highly recommend. Uh, we got a question in the Twitch chat from I Stay Hyphy. Oh, dang. Okay, sorry. You just learned how to assassinate you guys. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we got this hidden blade. Got uh, get him. Oh! Tripped him up! We cut off his arms. That's one of the things I really like about the stun attacks is they're they're like contextual. Like not only what weapon the enemy is using, because a lot of the times people will turn that weapon against them, but also if you're attacking from the front of the back. Okay, let me try. Yes. Oh, get him in the leg. Hit him with the stun. Oh. So you just like picked that wasn't the weapon you were holding. That was you just picked that up. That was his weapon. Oh, that, that was his weapon. Okay, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Well, and so uh, ooh, ooh, ow. Oh, ow. sneaky! Oh, hit him with long pokes. Ah. What was that? That was my axe throwing ability, Chris. So uh, you see there in the right hand corner or the bottom right corner yep. uh, that I have an ability mapped there to my Y button. Oh, he's coming. Oh, stick him. Uh-oh. All the way... All the way through. Hmm. That's a good hammer takedown. Oh, man, that was still... They just want it today. You thought you were just going to free these dudes? That easily? What's this? Like, oh. multiple shot? Yeah, because you've got some uh, ranged abilities, too. Exactly, yeah, on the left-hand side there. So when you pull out your bow, uh, you can push any one of the face buttons that you mapped there and uh, activate those abilities. And again, this is still a pretty early playthrough, so I don't have a ton of abilities unlocked yet. Oh, yeah, we're just a few hours in here. Uh, so, like folks, a few free. questions from chat I just wanted to address real quick. Someone asked about uh, if you get the game on uh, current gen and then buy it on next gen, will you have the game? Yes, both PS4 and Xbox One, you will get the copy. You'll be able to upgrade to your next generation for 
uh, zero dollars. That's a that's a smart delivery thing on Xbox. Same on PS4. So no worries there. Another question was about sort of the um, customization of like HUD or something. Anyways, yeah. Do you need me to do some put another link? I'm gonna put in some links on the chat. We've done away with everyone. Uh, I want to jump in really quick, though, and show the uh, skill point menu. Uh, because in Valhalla, uh, there aren't levels in the sense of like, oh, I went up a level, I now have uh, points to spend on X, Y, and Z. You, uh, you gain skill point levels, and that affects your overall power. And mm -hmm. it's this giant uh, grade which you can take in a multitude of directions. And these small ones here you have are like passive bonuses, like extra health or bonus damage to uh, all gear that is bear aligned. There's bear, wolf, and uh, snake, I believe, um, or uh, raven. Uh, and then when you get these big abilities here, the, they will be like, here, dual swap, you can switch if you're dual wielding. I can switch my hammer and ax if I want. Um, if I you know, go here, that was that stomp ability you saw me use. This is also where you'll upgrade your adrenaline point, uh, meter bars mm -hmm, so you mm -hmm. can use more abilities. Um, so definitely, you would definitely want to be spending all of your um, uh, all of your skill points as you get them. This is nice. Says the man with two skill points in the bank. What well, you doing? What Where are you doing, going doing with here, it? Chris? All right. All right. <laughs> Let me see it. Uh, where do I want to go? Well, and you can see Jeez. here as, as as we unlock more, you'll, you'll get another branch. Uh, so you can see what's at the center of there is the perfect attack yeah. ability. So it's pre it's to tap. Can we can we look at that one real quick? Oh yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love it when they show you the preview of it. Uh, so to press RB again during a weapon swing to do more damage on the next hit. Yeah, so this uh, is like, like th this is going to make combat a little bit more skill-based. So like, I'm not just sitting here mashing uh, you know, my light attack button. If I'm actually timing it to the swings, the animations, uh, I'll actually then do more damage. And nice. then you can see my skill power went up from 27 to 29. Yusuf, yeah. ha have you done any fishing? Not here. Uh, I in I have in my further playthrough. In this playthrough, we don't have the fishing hut unlocked in the settlement yet, so we don't have the uh, the fishing rod. Sorry, Bungle Chore, if I asked. I promise but, fishing you know next stream. Next stream, we'll be streaming this game next week as well. So go ahead and follow the channel. You'll get the alerts. We'll be doing streaming on Wednesday and Friday, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Ooh, get the loot. Oh, these are arrows. Sniper that are Chuck, we games. are streaming from an Xbox Series X right now. Uh, we are streaming it in 1080p, 60 FPS. If that's not what you're seeing in your browser on Twitch, you can go to the little gear in the video window and click uh, to the source. Depending on how your internet speed is, maybe that'll uh, show that for you. We just, this that's what we're broadcasting so it on here. Um, yeah, that's where you can check that out. Ah, Middleton. Yeah, a nice little berg. Everything's fine here, I'm sure. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Ah, uh, this is the lady. Slap some moss in that so gash. And wrap I'm looking for her. Egel, Egel, look at me. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England. Hold his arms. Nine. Large uh -oh. and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Fed us for a week. You know when someone's like, someone's like trying to distract you with, like, yeah. Oh, remember that great, awesome thing you did? Oh yeah. The eighth century version of anesthetic is think about eating pork. Yes. You must be so Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Someone asking, how many hours into the game is this? About five, would you say, Yusuf? Uh, this is, yeah, about, about uh, five and a half uh, to six. And that, that's all dependent on how much time you take. Um, you, know, you could spend probably eight to ten hours just in Norway before even going to England, uh, cleaning up that, you know, all the activities there. It's also worth noting too, once you go to England, you still can go back to Norway too. So yeah, good point, good point. You don't, you don't need to have, if you're like me and you have anxiety about leaving the so markers on a map, uh, you can Though still travel back. Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The order, order of the of ancients. Lunatics. Sounds right. Uh, the Saxon good. called Wigmund is one of them. 
He robbed me of my city. Wigman. Listen. I've no disrespect to anyone in the chat named Wigman, but don't trust Wigman. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll <laughs> never just person name one with. Tell me about them. <laughs> they are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. So we can find out a little bit more about Wingman. We can find out how Grand Bridge fell. That's, that's, that's actually what happened that. to Grand Bridge? How did the it fall? The elder man Wingman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. Hmm. From the heart of Grand Bridge. Hmm. Hmm. All right, what's Something's going on in Grand Bridge here? Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Folks, I'm seeing some more questions about uh, PC specs and optimization and stuff in the chat. We have an article that sort of uh, lays out a bunch of that information about various hardware and uh, benchmarks and stuff. I'm going to put the link in the chat. If you can't see that link, just go to news.ubisoft.com. You'll be able to find our Assassin's Creed news hub there, and that will go ahead and give you some more information on PC specs, PC customization, and all of that. We got to light this uh, bonfire, Chris, so we know where our camp is. Mm -hmm. cut, bright yeah. wolf of the branch. Very intense. And guide Soma's gilded warriors home. I like that you say a little, like, blessing over the fire. I mean, Eivor is a poet. That's not just Don't me I that. know that it. Is, that is a canonical story I fact. know what you must think. What must mm -hmm. I think? Mm -hmm. That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would <laughs> I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone. A wanderer. Like there's a fox, get it. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else, but these warriors are more than a blade and a shield. They are my family, nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. Oh, and so if your so people loyal. yet live, find them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Actually, we've shown off a lot of the dual wielding. Let's go. Yeah, can we see some single hand weapons? What do you have? So there's. What's this one uh, next to the hammer? One next to the hammer. Oh, a dagger. Dagger? Uh huh. So you can uh -huh. see, like, every weapon has, you know, crit percent, stun, weight, uh, speed. So the dagger, very, very fast, uh, 80 speed, as opposed to, like, Bone Biter, Fine Dane Axe, which is a uh, 35 speed. We also have the Iron uh, Star Fine Flail. Click it. I want to see it in the hand. Oh, it looks nasty. I don't want to. I don't want to stand near that at all. Give me away from flails. Here. Flail, of course, one-handed weapon too. So we can do something else on the uh, on the other hand. Uh, Yusuf, spears. here's my plan. In one hand, a shield. In the other hand, also a shield. Can do, Chris. Can do. Glad you asked. Ah, let's do it. Uh, sorry, Mike Dub TV. I do want to see the flail we too, but dual shields too. is just too much of a temptation here. Gonna put some runes on these things. Uh, go ahead and upgrade them. Give you a little boost, uh, and then, yeah, let's go. Uh, two shields. Only imagine the reason people are playing the game right now before it comes out is like an early access thing uh, for cre content creators for reviews sites. Uh, and, you know, we work for Ubisoft, so uh, we also have some early access to it. It'll be coming out on November 10th. I've seen some people in chat talking about already getting to preload it, though. So, um, yeah, Tuesday. Not, luck not much longer to wait. It's coming out soon. All right. We're hearing some ominous music. We're reaching okay. me. the destination. Me my eyes. We have two shields. Yusuf, have you fought with two shields before? Wolves. I have. I have. Oh, there's wolves here. Surrounded someone. Wolves? wolves. Well. <laughs> oh, they just want to spray for someone. Come back here, wolf. <laughs> Two shields. Versus wolf. Two shields. Win. Get bashed. Of course, shields, not the 
fastest weapon. His shackles, wretched, carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. This guy doesn't want you to save him. I'm feeling bad about it. Well, I mean, he doesn't want us to sacrifice ourselves. Oh, he thinks that you're just gonna get munched by these wolves. Yeah. Doesn't he see how you many shields you have? He doesn't know that Avor is the wolf kiss. Wolves ain't never been a problem. That's, that's oh. what we think about wolves. Ooh. Get, get axed. Get shielded. Hard to blame him. Just, Had just a real bad wrecked. experience with a wolf as a child, as you all saw earlier in the stream. Gilead asking, is it possible to dual wield every weapon? Uh, no, some weapons are two-handed weapons, so you can't, like, dual wield a huge axe. It's a two-handed weapon. You but there's trade-offs, of course, for the benefit of wielding something so big and powerful. Smack into a nest of bandits, but Freya was on my side. And I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. And hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a mm -hmm, camp not mm -hmm. far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Go recover. Eivor and I will find the others. I'll head back to camp. And as I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. All right, Galen. Do your thing. Get better. Uh, I, was, uh, I was saying this earlier, Chris. I really like the yeah. light bow in combat because it allows you to easily hit those weak points uh, oh. and just get get off stun kills, and then give the wolf a kiss of your this own. A serious Ooh, man, Galen. Yes. And you think they're gonna call that that wolf uh, wolf Avor kiss? The tree bears its branches. <laughs> it makes his mind Avor's just kissing all these wolves out here. Mm -hmm. Makes it mine. With an axe. Uh, someone earlier, PlayStation Persuasion, was asking, does the game uh, punish you for being an aggressive player? It interests me, but I don't like being forced into stealth taxi tactics. I think you can see from Yusuf's play that playing Whoa. aggressive is for What does sure. that mean? You're, you, you didn't even Chris, if you, you want to say something to me, just say it, all right? Yusuf, you're, you're showing off an excellent aggressive style in a lot of this combat, and it's really showing that... No, you don't have to be forced into stealth tactics. That's just an option for you to take advantage of. Yusuf sneaking up here. He's probably going to try to show off a little stealth to uh, take out some of these people, especially oh, no. because I've been spotted. Viewed what I just said as an insult, but uh, sometimes the stealth doesn't go your way, and then you just pop up. And so, yeah. Well, you know what? We got shields. Why? Who needs stealth when you have two shields? When you have two shields. I see a prompt to stomp. Oh, they got back up. No stomping. Oh no! Oh, the shield takes off. Oh, the shield. Oh, this is a pointy shield too. Don't let Oh, speaking of pointing. Oh, you're getting it. You think I would block more with two shields? Alright, I'm gonna block this one. Flank the idiots. Press hard. Blocking him. Get blocked. Not doing nothing, Lightman. Now you're gonna get clobbered. Oh, we gotcha! The pointy part. Oh, uh -oh. that crunch. Oh. What was that crunch? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was gnarly. Oh gosh. And then he like stuck it through him, his body just like stays there, of course he would. Oh no. The stomp a Rooney. Okay. Alright, alright. Yeah. <laughs> Sick be saying dual shield is the true gentleman's weapon. <laughs> hey, hey guys, how you doing? Alright. They're saved. They're just resting. I'm sure they'll get up. All right. And now we have one more advisor. Oh. There we go. Yusuf, uh, before you go to the next one, let's get let's take a ride there. Let's ride on your like horsey. Oh, okay. Yoo hoo, horsey poo. I mean, it's not. Oh, hey, look, some other people are on a horse. Like ice oh, and showing fire. off here, riding through little doorways. Nicely done. All right, so we have mm. one more. Have a look, Sudan. Ooh, I don't know if I have. I don't think I have the upgrade Fiona yet. And Garland. Like ice and fire, I'd imagine. <laughs> That's well. I'm gonna find out if my horse yes. can swim or not. If I have I the upgrade like to or see not. Variety in the company I keep. They don't know. Nope. <laughs> but they respect one another. Oh yeah, there warriors. they go. The horse is living, them. folks. The horse is gonna make it. The horse is gonna be fine. Just, just Yusuf can't stay on because uh, he hasn't earned, hasn't unlocked that upgrade yet. 
Yes, but it is rest assured. I, it's just because I don't have the stable yet at my. Uh... Oh, sneaky time, Yosef. All right, we're gonna. Oh wait, Show let's, me those let's do this. Chops. Right, now we're real sneaky, Chris. <laughs> I also like hey, to deal if, damage. I'm gonna be honest. If I'm sneaking, give me like a hunter bow or a uh, predator bow. Which I don't have okay. yet. That's, this is how you sneak, folks. The arrows out of the fog. Oh, well, that person seems to be slightly alarmed. They saw their buddy go down. They're going over to detect the corpse. Yusuf, you gotta take him out before they sound the alarm. Oh, oh they really see good. They got eyes on you. It's alright. They don't what know it's me. Just because they see someone's dead doesn't mean they suspect me. Okay, well, now they do. Did he die from the heart attack? <laughs> no, there's an arrow in his mouth. <laughs> Kyokichu asking, have you gotten the Assassin's Blade yet? Uh, yes, he does have that. That's why, if you saw an assassination a little earlier, he was rocking the Assassin's Blade. That happened in, uh, earlier in the game. We actually jumped over it uh, during our loading, so we could show you guys more of England over here. Ah, he doesn't go for the mid-battle free prisoner and uh, get them on your side. Well, they, you know, they could be hurt. They could be, uh, someone's doing her own thing over there. She got it. All right. Get them up. Let's go. If you would be so kind, I've had quite the day. Follow on, Lee. Okay. Be nine gallons safe on camera. Oh, oh. Eivor? No? Okay. You meet us there when you're ready. DNL Unleashed asking, can you turn off those numbers on the screen? I presume you're referring to the damage numbers. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of different options for what you can customize in the HUD. And so if you want to make it more minimal, remove certain elements, keep other elements, that's all uh, available. Uh, Sasufa making the good point. Yes, it's similar to Origins or Odyssey. Uh, is this co-op? This is not co-op. This is a single player adventure. And yes. Yusuf is playing right now. Who are you chasing? Who, who are you on the trail of, you said? Oh, I'm not chasing him. We freed everyone. We're headed back to camp. All right. So Thanks for wrapping up. Fire. Head back to the old camp. Oh, gosh. It's so foggy. Middleton. What's up, my tuners? That way you can call people from Middleton. Tuners? Mm. <laughs> yeah. The beacon has drawn yeah. the last of my soldiers. <laughs> By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to D Wolf leave. use different weapons. All right. About this. I'll use the After flail. After my missteps, I worry what they. Oh yeah, we got to see a little flail before we wrap it. What are you gonna say, Yusuf? That won't be on their minds. They'll be dreaming of all the ways they want to kill the Saxons who took their homes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Buy Thor's hammer. I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback. Galen, you look well worn. <laughs> Do not grieve the many. I think that's a Viking compliment. Right? That's a Viking compliment. Feels pretty backhanded. For us. <laughs> Thank you, Yaws Corner. Leaf, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know this that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. The crew. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. <laughs> I lost so many after all this. I love them. But I still I love have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you mm -hmm, will have an mm -hmm, ally in mm -hmm. me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. What a kind invitation. Right? Rest your weary eyes here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, it's a good stretch. Oh, I get to sleep on a bed and not just, you know, crouch by the docks and meditate. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Ooh, more skill points. Skilly. All right, we got we got a fight coming up ahead, so I'm gonna I'm gonna need these skill points. I think. 
What's uh hmm. Hmm. I think uh you could you're two skill points away from unlocking this double blade thing over here. Oh, true. What's this? Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to reach it cuz I need two to get to it. Oh, oh sorry. I missed uh I missed red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is that ability? Can we just look at uh, it? Uh so this lets me uh swap my my weapons. So uh, instead of having to go back into a menu and like switch back and forth, I can switch my offhand, mainhand weapons. Looks like the juggling ability to me. That's exactly what it is, yes. And I approve! Is, uh, <laughs> how but Eivor the, becomes a busker. But to your point, Yusuf, when you're dual wielding, it's not like you um, have the same uh, like main hand attacks for both weapons, right? One of them is like your offhand weapon. Yeah, well, so you so, see the, the little one here and then the little two here? That means yes. this is your main weapon, this is your offhand weapon, um, and you'll, you'll only use this weapon if you're pushing on the left bumper. Uh, so Whereas we the we main we weapon, got... you can do a light or a heavy attack with, uh, which is two different button inputs. Um, oh, dagger. We did have some flail requests, Yusuf. I did promise so we got a flail. flail and dagger right now. All right. All right. Go mix it up a little bit. All right. What's that? I want to talk to people. You don't want. Well, hold on. I like the conversation that we have with Mirna. Mirna's a fun okay. person. All right. Let's, we're gonna we're gonna talk to her. We're gonna see what she's all about. You're Vienna. And you are Eivor, Sunbeam. You cut through the fog like the sun burns through ice. You're in high spirits, all things considered. The ambush, losing your home. In this moment, yes. But ah, you feel that? The moment has passed. We are free to pursue the next. What a gift! It's good to have you in this fight, Vienna. I like you, Eivor. You may help me here, or step on me, and by the look of you, I'd welcome either. Oh. Birna's a little spicy. That's why I appreciate her. Alright, so we could talk to the other uh, Soma's advisors. I, we'll, we'll leave that out for now. Um, to let you know, we're not going to show this whole quest, because it, it would get spoilery. Um, but I do want to show a little bit more. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's oh, yeah, take big your flirt. city back. So we're going to help Soma like take the, the city back, and then we'll probably the uh, wrap up there. We've but we'll be streaming there. back uh, on Wednesday and Friday of next week have as well. Care. You do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. <laughs> I fight What's, for up, What's up, Dag? You, you, you know. Else. You know. This ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, Grandfather Hermit, yes, there are, uh, there are difficulty settings. I'm playing on uh, normal right now. All right, so we need to regroup with Soma's clan. We're going to take the long ship. Dag. That guy's cranky. That's a deal, Dag. Dag's starting to question my authority, and you know what? I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it, Chris. Uh, Yusuf. Yes. I made a bit of a promise earlier in the stream, and uh, we're going to have to deliver before we leave. And it's just to take a look at the different difficulty options. There were three categories. Oh, uh, right. There was exploration difficulty, there's combat difficulty, and there's stealth difficulty. Uh, so if we can just take a quick look at what those different option levels mean, and you can change those uh, at any time. Um, so just go ahead, yeah, down here. So combat difficulty, just like tap it real quick, and we can see. Uh, choose among variety of combat difficulties. Uh, I will diff All right. It doesn't give us, like, the full... Does it give us any, like, more information about this? Not here, I don't think. I don't think so. What about the stealth difficulty? So you're, we're playing on the default difficulties here, and so it adjusts the sort of uh, detection, you know. I think there's more information when you first choose them. Yeah, right? I think uh, enemies enemies can detect you more easily. It's, it's The idea is that it's, it's supposed to be more realistic uh, in that case, and then ex exploration difficulty. Um, if you go uh, adventurer, it's like you will have a clear uh, marker of like, hey, this is exactly where you need to go. This is what you need to mm -hmm. do. Explorer is a little bit more like the Odyssey exploration mode where you're kind of just given a, a region of like, hey, it's where these two rivers meet, or hey, it's where, um, uh, you know, it's to the east of, of this location. Yeah, and it'll I, tell you some clues. Yeah, and then Pathfinder, I believe, strips away even the compass. Um, so you're you're left with... Uh, the very... compass is still there, I think, because I chose Pathfinder. But there's also extra, uh, there's other custom settings if you back out of this level. 
Uh, you look below, it says icon distance, closest opportunity. You can sort of, that's, so that's just a quick look at that customization. There's a little bit more information when you choose initially at the beginning of the game. Um, but of course, as you can see here, you can change it as you go. Um, and someone was asking about blood effects and assassination and stuff. Dismemberment, you can all talk, you can toggle that depending on uh, your preferences as well. Lots of ways to customize this game uh, for what's comfortable and what's fun for you. Yeah, and lots of uh, uh, HUD navigation as well. You can turn all the like, incremental uh, stuff off, you know, fight damage numbers. Someone was asking about, you can turn those off if you like. All right, boat time, boat time, boat time. I need to see this flail in action. Oh yes, you will. So now, Yusuf, I really appreciate how like focused on the quest you've been because if you've played, if you've watched me play uh, Watch Dogs Legion lately, you know that like uh, <laughs> staying focused on going to the objective at hand is not always my strength. So <laughs> you're doing a great job here, buddy. <laughs> Grandfather I mean, I Hermit, will... yes, photo mode. We love it. We love it so much. I will wander Sorry. off the beaten path in a second, Chris. There's actually oh, some really have... good um, open world, uh, world, world uh, events uh, that like some of them only last a couple minutes, but they like have really stuck with me, and uh, I definitely want to show show some of those off. Like what? Like what is he, what's this guy talking about here? Well, I mean, I don't want to give away too many details. Let's just say I was playing last night and I wandered upon a camp of nudists, Chris, and. Uh, <laughs> Someone who who wanted some some revenge on them, and that's all I'll say. But it was quite revenge on the nudist camp. Oh yes, oh yes. Yikes. Well, this looks like a little bit more involved than a nudist camp. I no one here is nude to uh, my knowledge. Uh, Galaxius, I see your question about sheathing and unsheathing feet. weapons. We'll take, try to take a look at that after this uh, scene here. Look at this dude just boozing it on top of his Return stolen Grand keep. Return to me, Wigmund. No more Toast of our people know. need die. You know. We may talk this out, lord to lord. <laughs> what are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. This guy does not have a good understanding of a anatomy. Port. And we both know you'll bleed those riches dry without my guiding hand. Leave. Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens. Wigman, Wigman, let's try one final time. <laughs> she's really With trying to make it happen. Bridge. And when she is mine she's once a, more, I may diplomat, spare Chris. your life. Ha! I command Grant Bridge. I am master here. <laughs> Them's his fighting but words. I will scour you rats from this <laughs> land like rot from a festering wound. Are you Let gonna me give though? You some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. Yes, if I see some red barrels. Oh yes. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do with those, buddy? No, you gonna? Oh god! Knock knock. We take what is yours. Oh, there's a lot of people here. That's a strong opener. I got a lot of axes. Oh, the flail. Flail. We must free her first. Get him. Oh, that's like bouncing it around. Oh, Oof. Oh my goodness. That thing is brutal. I like the, the battle size, these melees. Just like, it's chaos. But that's how it would be. Like, ooh, people fooling each other. He fall down and might get stomped by some guy you weren't even fighting. <laughs> some guy you were here. That's the thing, is like, how much honor was there on the battlefield, you know? Like, get him with the time. Do a little stabberino. Nice. We just gonna do a little, <laughs> a little yeah. vandalism while you're at it? Oh, we just gotta make a path. We'll surely find him there. Death for any Saxon breathing. Death for any Saxon. I oh, they're hiding, like they're hiding in the shrubbery, Chris. In the shrubberies, there is a certain amount of uh, destructibility here to these, to some parts of the forts, which, like here, it's just breaking down the gates. Uh, but I've definitely also like broken down, like 
on a cliffside, an archer was on a ledge, and I shot the the like uh, the ledge itself, the wooden outcropping, and it broke, and they fell to their death. So definitely keeping an eye out for those environmental things can work to your advantage. Alternatively, ooh, get him up the ledge. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh my God. Homeboy's taking care of business over there. Way to go, bud. To the grill. Create the longhouse area. All right, we're at the longhouse. This horse is like, uh, I don't think I should be here. Uh, this doesn't seem good. <laughs> I'm not digging the vibe. I gotta get out of here. So you can tell the, the flail is not the fastest weapon, but it, it's devastating when it connects. It really. Oh. Oof. Boom, baby. Take your last breath. Just mowing them down with that thing. <laughs> Grandfather Hermit, the sound of cracked skulls. Oh. Yusuf, Patasha says you're really good at shooting. Oh, thank you. And you know what? I am. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. You cannot hide uh, from me forever. No, thank you. Come I appreciate face. that. It also, I gotta say, too, that extra 60 frames per second, Chris, makes a... Uh, ooh, oh, that's a big one. That's a big guy. Peekaboo. Oh, he real big. Did you think Wigman was gonna come out and fight you? I don't, don't know what I Wigman's <laughs> lieutenant. Wigman isn't really a get his hand dirty kind of guy. Ooh. Oh, he's trying to grab. I don't think you should be grabbed by that absolute giant of a man. I mean, although maybe you should. It might, might be fun to see. Okay. All right. oh. Oh. oh, God. All right, I'm not doing that again, Chris. Oh, he took one for the team, folks. Thank you, Yusuf. That was great. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. He just absolutely chucked you. Oh, there we go. We can stun him. Stun him in the back. Oh, Ooh. on top. Let your oh, plague there we go. It's like taking down an elephant. Eivor, come <laughs> No sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. That's going to hurt in the morning. He'll be gone. I don't think he's, he's got many mornings I'm in the future. Coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Oh, hell yeah. Know that is Chris, if I know anything about you, sound of the horn that you love a good horn. Long life Blow that bounty. horn. I Why love me? it. Why not? This is what I come here for. You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city. Don't mind if I do. Get the old diaphragm ready. All right. Feel it. Savor it. Savor it. horn that is a dirty horn yes <laughs> you know you can that's like a you know how like humpback whales can hear each other from like thousands of miles away i feel like that is the that's the vibe <laughs> that's on the that vibe. horn <laughs> you feel that horn you're saying there's someone else with a horn far away and they they, they felt a resonance everyone within 10 miles Look felt that resonance <laughs> Whoa. You will stamp out the last of Wigman's fading fires. But tonight, Dude. tonight, another party, we right? As gods! I also like that she worked in a dramatic uh, chomp in her uh, feast. Uh oh, she didn't. Uh, more sense of something. Hey! Ooh. Avor. Avor sees something's 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 going on. What's happening here? Mm, you know how we were talking earlier about that original quest giver being a little bit something else is going on here vibe. Atasha says spoilers are coming. Haha. Ha. Maybe they are. I don't know. 
I don't know what's no, we're happen. not going to go further into this quest because it does get into a bit of spoiler territory. My clan grows the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? We started with a feast, we should end with a feast, Yusuf. I think I that's did. a pretty good book, yeah. Right? But right? You that's what I feel, too. You looked unsure. We'll, we'll, we'll watch the rest of this and then uh, we'll wrap up. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. Mm. I've heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all That's my all time there in is Brandage, to it. this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. You dun, believe dun. you were betrayed? I know I was. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen, and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. No, it's not. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. A betrayal so wicked, I cannot imagine. Yet someone willing to break an oath like that must bear some sign or defect. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel, and here, mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. gift for retaking Grand Bridge with us. One of the few Ooh, things present? I have left from my blood Ooh. family. What is it? What'd she give you? What'd she give you? We're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. Shield. Blood Wolf Light Shield. All right, Chris. I think we can't Yusuf. we can't show any more of that main quest. Uh, we will get into spoiler territory, but you do have to go full on detective mode. You got to uh, discover who the traitor is in Soma's camp, and uh, it's quite like a it. fun, engaging uh, quest, if I do say so. Well, because they're also out causing trouble out throughout the Shire, so you can get get mixed up with them and uh, have a grand old time, folks. Uh, this has been super, super fun. Early opening look at the uh, opening sequences from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Then we jumped forward in our save to once Yusuf had been established as a settlement in England, did some of the Grant Bridgeshire, Grant Bridgeshire quests, started that quest arc. Uh, this has been really great, but this is not the only Assassin's Creed Valhalla stream we'll be doing. The game's out on Tuesday, uh, but then on Wednesday, we'll be back with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla stream. You can follow the channel to get the alert or just join us at 10 a.m. Pacific time right here on twitch.tv slash Ubisoft or on the U Ubisoft YouTube channel. Sorry we didn't get to uh, all the questions in chat. There were definitely a lot of them. Uh, Galaxius Pilgrim, I don't know about the sheathing weapons thing. Yusuf, do you know? Like, if you're walking around with your axe out, do you just put it away automatically? Can you pull out and put it? Can you uh, so yeah, that? if you're not in a state of conflict, like if there are not people actively detecting and attacking you, your weapons will just be away. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna like just start swinging, if you wanna start just start attacking, then they will come out obviously. But uh, as long as you're not drawing any attention or hostile uh, activity. They will be they will be automatically be put away it's actually a, kind of a good way to know whether or not people are still coming after you <laughs> whether things are still popping off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh man i cannot wait to play more of this game i'm still i i was playing a little bit as well and i'm still in norway and the, just like the the feeling of cold and the, the the verticality of the mountains there it feels totally different than england and of course you can go back there as well as yusuf was mentioning earlier yeah. we'll be playing more folks don't worry about it and hopefully you'll be playing too tuesday it's coming tuesday that's right hopefully hopefully <laughs> uh you know it's coming out on uh everything but playstation 5 on tuesday uh playstation 5 will be out on thursday when the console is out on november 12th but, oh, uh, Yusuf, one more thing. Can you hop mm. over to the uh, gameplay control like tab? NL Palm and a couple other people were asking about co uh, control customization. 
Oh yeah. Uh, so if you look here, if you sift mouses over or like cursors over to the right, away from the menus, it'll just show you the loadouts. And then in terms of controller customizing controls, you have your normal access stuff. But Yusuf, go over the customize controls thing right there. And like here you go, you can do a lot of different yeah, uh, customization stuff. Yeah, throughout navigation, Raven, the camera stuff, throughout the fight. Uh, so there should be plenty of customization there for you to tweak it as uh, as you like. Yeah, there are a ton of customization options uh, to you know suit it however you like. Awesome. Folks, this was really fun. Super glad you could all join us. Uh, we'll be back next week with more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the meantime, just a few days to wait for you to get out there, forge your own Viking yeah. legend as Eivor, and, uh, you know, just spend a lot of time in photo mode. And if you want to see more, to you want to see... <laughs> yes, photo mode. Tons of photo mode. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to see more, you want to see some deeper dive stuff, uh, next Wednesday uh, we will be streaming. We'll have a uh, much further along play session. We will be able to address a lot of things we didn't get to hit on today. Uh, you definitely don't want to miss it. We'll do some stuff, more stuff off the beaten path, too. Check out some of the open world uh, events that I think are very, very fun. And, uh, that sounds super good, dude. Yeah. Make sure you give this channel a follow to uh, let you know when we go live. And uh, in the meantime, d don't go anywhere because we're going to raid someone else uh, streaming out there. And so uh, they'll be live here on this channel in just a short while. Uh, go show them some love. Let them know we sent you. And uh, be kind. Absolutely, folks. Have a great time. Have a great weekend. Bye.